and here we go again. Today I'd like to take a look at something we have done before but it's a different version and a different uh, package altogether. It's an icon editor that we're looking at and I've done icon editors before but this one is particularly special as much as it's so easy to use. Well let's go straight there, let's go on the internet and we'll search for its peculiar name. Admittedly, just let the internet start off and if we type www green there it is it comes up automatically it's green fish whoops soft where dot blogspot dot co dot uk and that should take us to the website which it did that's good it's always a good start when things happen the way they're meant to um, there are quite a long list uh, and you can take five minutes looking down the list of softwares that they do because the nice thing is this is all free software which you're allowed to download and as always that uh, if you download something and you intend to use it on a regular basis I mean if you're just doing it maybe you know once every so often um, then that's fine but if you're using it a lot and using it on a regular basis uh, then I would suggest that you make a donation five ten dollars five or ten pounds whatever it is whatever your currency is just give them a reasonable donation so that they can continue their work um, green sh fish software I haven't actually heard of it before but I'm sure that like everywhere else giving them a little bit of cash to carry on will keep these things coming right it on the right hand side here we'll see articles about Greenfish icon editor pro and that's one we're interested in so if we click on that we get this particular page. Now this particular version that we're doing, this um, icon editor, it comes in Windows 32 and 64-bit, it comes in Ubuntu and Debian 64-bit packages, it's in Linux and it's also Windows, it will run in Windows 7. I don't know about earlier versions because I haven't uh, been able to test that but it does run in Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 8.1, Windows 10 and Windows 10 update whichever so it does work on all of them and being open source of course you can download the uh, the software to actually manipulate it yourself they have no objection but this is downloaded as is and you know what you do with it, it's your own business but like everything as I said before and I will repeat it just for the sake of being a nuisance but if you're going to use it regularly and you're going to play with it and you're going to mess around with it give them a donation so that they can carry on and make things better for you right that's it speech over let's get into download we download the windows 32 and 64 bit installer it's only a very small program i have done this before so it's, i may end up with a second copy there but it takes literally two seconds to download it on a standard uh, broadband and there it is let's close the internet down let's go to my pc let's have a look in my download folder and whoopee look there's two copies of it I'll get rid of one because it'll end up confusing later on as you can see I have downloaded the zip package so as you can run it uh, let's just go back to the website because uh, I didn't mention that and I did mean to history if ever you've closed a website just as a, a secondary lesson if you like if you've closed a website and you think ah oh, I can't remember the address if you go in your history and show all history or just restore the previous version which should take us to the page we were on and there it is there's a page we were on that's it smashing um, most of the, the in this we have uh, the Windows 32 and 64 bit portable installer that's the main installer just beneath that Windows 32 bit and 64 bit portable version now that doesn't actually install on your computer it just runs off whatever device you have it on if you put it on a, a memory stick then you can run it off the memory stick you don't need any special software it's all included everything's compact and available for you right in that one package so okay we'll carry on then we've downloaded it we'll go to a download folder I'm not going to install it on the one I downloaded there I'll just use the one I did earlier which is the portable version of the same thing if I open up the folder now that unzipped it when I look down the list here and don't be put off and scared by all this it's just uh, general information the general files that you need to run the software but if you look here we'll see the GFIE 
32 and GFIE 64 EXE. Now the EXE means it's an executable file and if you click on it it should just run the program. Now you'd normally get a message saying are you sure you wish to run this software. I've always clicked yes because uh, quite happy with it, quite happy with Greenfish. Um, when I did install it I did the malware byte scan over it to make sure that everything was clean and just the way it was. And away we go. Right, we have various icons which will meet us when we first kick off. Um, the main ones are in the main middle window here. We have firstly uh, do not perform any action which seems a bit pointless. Oh, I just want to sit here and look at it. Never mind, we'll do that. Um, batch convert image files. Now if you've downloaded a load of images and they're in I don't know PNG format and you want them in JPEG format or any other format click on here it'll ask you to show the image which you can then click on and convert it so it's a bit of a image converter built in there uh, open in an existing document obviously if you've been halfway through uh, creating an icon or whatever and, and you've had to break away for whatever reason then you can carry on from there providing you've saved it of course uh, create a new library. If you have your own particular art style and you want to create a library of the same icon or uh, same icon with minor differences, then you can do it in that. T you can make a folder for it. This is the one we're going to use today, which is the icon. If I click on that, that's going to open up a page asking if I want a medium sized icon or a small icon or big or massive or whatever. I'm going to do 64 just for the fun of it. You don't have to, it can be square, you can make it rectangular, uh, you can make it a widescreen version of an icon if you want. I'm not going to go into that um, with everything that I do as a demonstration. It is for novice users and not people who are highly experienced. If you're highly experienced you don't need me to tell you how to use these things. However if you have little experience in computers and just want a bit of guidance that's what I do, just give you that guidance to get started. Anyway, 64 by 64, you can have whatever size you want. There's quite a few on there. Uh, the default is 48 by 48. I always find that a bit small. 32 by 32. Um, if you're going to use the icon in maybe something like XP or one of the older versions of Windows, then 32 by 32 is probably good enough. I'm going to go 64 by 64 because I find that comfortable. Click OK and we end up this massive window. Now I am not an artist, right? Let's just kick off for it's the way we meant to go on. I'm not an artist. I can't really draw very well, but it's surprising what you can do. Let's um, we'll start off. We're going to draw a face. How ridiculous is that? Me, not an artist, but I'm going to draw a face. Firstly, we need to select a couple of colours. Um, we can do whatever colour. If we want a brown face, we can select a brown face from them or a brown color from the menu. Um, if we want white face you can you can do a little bit of a pinky color here if you like. There we go just mildly pink. So maybe we'll have a bit of I don't know. Let's go somewhere between. The, no we'll stick as it is. Right we'll do the brown outline. Um, as I say I am not an artist so don't expect too much. Right we have a head shape and in the head shape will be a bit of hair no doubt. Okay there we go. And the general face bit um, I'll take the hair up another layer up there, why not? And we'll put some little streaky bits in it, why not? There we go, that's pretty. Right, uh, on the side of the head we'll have a whole bunch of ears maybe, because generally people have them stuck on the side of the head don't they? Right, and level with the top of the ears comes eyes the eyes to the right have it. There we are. Getting all political now. And of course down we have a snoz or a nose, whichever you want to call. Oh dear, didn't like that. Right, I made a mistake, so how do we get round that? If we go to the edit menu we'll get a whole list of uh, things. We can undo the pencil um, and there's various selections there. The one I've used a lot is Control plus Z. Now that'll be on your keyboard. So if I press Control and Z, what happens? Oh look, it's taken away the bottom half of the face. Brilliant, because that's what, where I made the mistake. So if you ever make a mistake, you just need to click on Control and Z and we can get it back. Are you happy with that, Howard? Mm, never happy with my drawings. 
let's carry on anyway okay so we'll make a mouth shape oh he's very serious isn't he let's give him a bit of a laugh there we go simple as that I'm going to do that again control Z and control Z for a second time just raise it up a little bit oh he's got a kinky lip we don't want him having any kinky lips certainly not in my demonstration so do it a bit more carefully there we are very serious face we'll turn his serious face into a bit of a smile there we go and what about eyebrows I, I don't know that's something I don't know whether we can vary the thickness of lines that we're drawing in if you have a look on the left here at the top of the middle column you can see the very sketchiness of my drawing which is quite pathetic isn't it you know I, I've seen kids in school eight and nine years old draw better faces but like I said I'm not an artist okay we're gonna color this guy pink because he's a pinky sort of a person there we go I've, what I did then is I this color we chose here on the uh, left mouse button you got a right sorry a left mouse button and a right mouse button um, you can load them both with different colors which is what I've done right I'm going to draw in a tongue which I'd like it to be just a bit redder than normal because we've all got sort of oh that's wrong that's wrong too there we go so we can pencil in our little blobby tongue here in the yeah, or we could just have I'm not sure how we get total white. Probably go to the top of the top of the spec yeah, that's about white. Uh we could give him a row of teeth, couldn't we? Yeah. If we're so inclined. Yeah, look oh I don't know. I I could say I'm not an artist, I'm not pretending to be. There we are. We'll just. Uh, I'm f what I'm using is using the uh, the paint pot to just draw in some uh, the white area, really flood fill the white area in his mouth. Now I shall get some. Uh, I don't know. Let's um, let's go to a just off white color because I'm going to give him some gaps in his. Oh dear, that was wrong. Yeah, that's what I do. I just want a little bit of fill, so it's, it's a bit different. Probably wouldn't even show up. Right, let's have a look at these eyes. His eyes are quite pathetic. Uh, and he, he needs eyebrows, so we're going to do uh, a little bit of brown on the eyebrows there. One each side of the head. That's always good, because that keeps your face in balance, doesn't it? There we go. That's brilliant. Right, it's going to be a little blue-eyed boy. Maybe not quite dark blue as that. And um, we can vary the intensity of the blue by these sliders on the side here um, you have to just play around with them and find out that's all I've done is just played around there we go there's a nice blue eyeball in there usually surrounded by whiteness which we can put in yeah it doesn't matter if we, if we take lines out because we can always patch them up in a minute or two uh, say I'm not a brilliant art. I keep saying that. I'm making a fool out of myself. All right, let's. Um, we can do definition if we uh, go to another icon here, which is the ink dropper. Now we can we can select the color. If you look at the little patterns down here, we can select the color that we're after. We can select the darkish yellow there. We can select the blue just by uh, really using the ink dropper to click on it. There we are. That's. Uh, the blue one it automatically reverts back to the pencil once you've used the ink dropper so if we use the ink dropper once more on to pick up that brown again and we'll just go over some detail that we've just erased around this eyeball here here we go that's all there is to it he looks a bit squint now doesn't he uh, never mind we can extend his eyes somewhat now yeah, I wish we could do that in real life and it? it'd be easy I'm just going to extend my eyes a little bit because they're looking wonky here, I don't know if he looks right or not. Okay, that's about it for him, isn't it? Let's pick up the pinky colour, which I was going to do. And I want that just a little shade darker to allow me to just put in a little bit of maybe featuring there. Don't need to. Th this is, I don't know, what the heck would you use this icon for? I don't know. I'm just going to put some shading in there. Uh, down the side of the nose perhaps and under the eyeballs there we are I don't know what that looks like he's looking better he's looking healthier certainly um, 
I'm going to go once again. Do this in little steps, and it's surprising the effect. That's probably a bit too much, but for the sake of art, for the sake of sparing art, we're going to keep it very, very simple. There we are, a bit under his chin as well. There we are. And this is our blokey. Uh, what colour hair should we have? I haven't finished with the hair. If I do an eye drop on particular colour, I want it sort of browny, so we'll go over here. We'll do a lighty brown. I do apologise if there's any artist watching and the artists think he should do better. A, a man of his age should do much better than what he's doing. He really is quite pathetic. But that's the way it is, you know. I wasn't uh, wasn't particularly clever at art at school. But I can get by. That, you know, hey, that's okay. That's good enough as a picture. I'm not going to mess around anymore, but I'm going to save that now. I'm going to save as... Oh look, it's opened up my icon folder, which I must have looked at before. So here we are, that's all my various different icons. Um, GFE 3.3, .3, that's the one, isn't it, eh? This is a Greenfresh editor. Uh, file name, I don't know what this bloke's called, we're going to call him Fred. There we go, that's Fred. Right, so Fred, save as type, uh, ICO is always good, isn't it? There we go, icon file. You need to put that in, which I've just learned. That's what the error was there that it gave me. So if we put Fred icon, and we can close that package now. And that is the download page, which I won't do. So I'll go to my PC and go to my junk dump, where everything goes. If I don't have a specific space for it, I put it in the junk dump. And if I open up my icon folder, there's a GFIE 3.3, .3, there we are, and there's Fred. Now Fred can appear on the page, look. And you can use that to link on, I don't know, if you, if you have a, um, a particular type of program that you want to use. There's Fred as an icon anyway, Fred icon. Um, it's as simple as, I mean, how much fun was that to do? Okay, you've probably been in stitches, and when you do eventually get up off the floor after laughing at my art, artistic quality, um, then you you know have a go with it. It's a great little program. It's fun to play with. You can do, I believe, animations, or whether that's a different download, I don't know. I only just found this just recently, so I haven't had a chance to play with a lot. And if anybody's interested and they want a little bit more in-depth tuition on this particular program, leave me a comment down below. And I'll always try to get back to every comment. One, once or twice, the people leave comments, and I can't seem to see them. They're, they're like invisible. And I do apologise to those people that I can't uh, I can't be any clearer. That was me emptying the box. I don't know if it came up on the sound. Um, yeah, so do leave me a comment, and if you want to see more on a particular program, then please uh, send me an email or whatever uh, through YouTube, or if you want to, it's webmaster, webmaster at plugit dot org dot uk i shall leave that in writing at the end of this demonstration meanwhile thank you very much for uh watching this if you've enjoyed the video then uh, please subscribe to my channel on youtube which is howard l hall at youtube and give me a thumbs up if you liked it give me a thumbs up even if you hate it you know but i like the thumbs up it make me ha make an old man very happy by giving me a thumb a thumbs up that is thanks very much for listening bye for now